I grew up with a Bösendorfer. Bösendorfer uh, is for me um, not only a, a piano, not only an instrument, but uh, a friend, a, a brother, uh, my companion, uh, the endless practice hours. Uh, I think a lot has been achieved. It's, it's the best piano I've ever played on. This new model especially it seems to be so flexible in the tone production, so responding to the pianist. And uh, I must say that Vienna, even in a globalized era as today, still preserves some of its uh, quintessential features. Balance versus quantity. <laughs> produces a very interesting uh, sound and tone and timbre differentiation between registers. It's like two different people speaking, see? And this is typical, I must say, of Viennese orchestras. We can say this, the strings, the string sound of Viennese orchestras is never too present. Um, the, the bow technique is really Viennese. You can say there is a Viennese sound. And I think Bösendorfer, in many ways, represents that aesthetics. Again, the piano provides very fine nuances and a very precise articulation in small silences. And I find it really extremely respectful of all the demands that the piano pianist puts on his interpretation of Scarlatti. So, see, we don't, pianists don't only need uh, a grand piano to produce more sound. But Bösendorfer accommodates this uh, demand, produced a more nuanced, nuanced, uh, fine uh, sound and articulation of sound. It is really the best instrument I have played on. I have lived a few years in this country. I studied here, also here in New York at the Juilliard School. Uh, I feel very much at home when I come here. And um, I remember that among my fellow musicians, friends, the preoccupation about the piano was and still is projection, so tone projection in terms also project to every little corner of the concert hall, to every pair of ears of people, of audience members. Now, and as I said before about the Viennese uh, aesthetics, this doesn't seem, didn't seem to be historically Bösendorfer's preoccupation, that is big sound. That's why some people were worried about having Bösendorfer uh, used uh, to play a piano concerto. Now, I, I strongly disagree with, with it. Um, when I played the Busoni piano concerto in Vienna, and the Busoni piano concerto really uses a great, great uh, orchestra, even a choir, the sound of the instrument came through extremely vividly because um, Bösendorfer, the philosophy of Bösendorfer is the poignancy of the sound, the penetration of the sound, not just the quantity, uh, the volume of sound. So uh, since I think there is still a tradition um, in prioritizing sound projection in, in America, um, it also shows through the, the orchestra sound, especially the brass. Um, the new philosophy of Bösendorfer is to, uh, to meet these demands, that is really be having a better, bigger projection, and this instrument meets these uh, demands perfectly without losing its uh, typical qualities, which are mainly timbre differentiation, uh, a sense of harmonic blend uh, of tones, of resonance. So tomorrow I'm 
actually introducing this instrument to to the Lincoln Center audience, and uh, can you imagine how exciting, uh, should I say, uh, a big burden of responsibility? Um, I really trust the instrument. I have no doubt that people will be very impressed. Mm -hmm.